Welcome back to La La Land on CRN Digital Talk. That's Nettie Liddell. And that's Brett Chapin. We have the pleasure today of talking to two fantastically accomplished actors, Mr. Jimmy Milligan and Miss Juliana Hansen. Hey. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. Thanks for Our having pleasure. us. pleasure. And there's free coffee. So. And there's, well, you know, that's probably why you came, huh? Yeah. yeah. Don't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say a word. I promise. Yes. <laughs> yes, one of the perks here, free coffee in the lobby for our guests. So I listen up, guests. Perks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So? So, Juliana Hansen, let's start with you. Um, All right. Juliana Hansen is a fantastically accomplished musical theater slash film actress. And Ooh. I happen to have personal knowledge of this because uh, I happen to have done a show with Juliana <laughs> when she was 12 years old. Oh, wow. you're kidding. No. <gasps> what show? We did The Secret Garden many, many years ago. <laughs> I think that was, that was your first show, right? It was my first equity show, yeah. Yeah, and it was my, it was my first equity show, too. It was an incredible show. Yes. I mean, you know, it was many years ago, but it's still one of the more special things I've done, I think. So you've been doing it for a while, huh? I have, yeah. Prior to that, though, I was doing a lot of um, television stuff, TV movies, commercials, voiceover work. Um, but that was my first venture onto stage. And, and you, you were the lead in that show. She played Mary Lennox. You weren't scared? No. You loved it, <laughs> I just huh? loved you embraced it. it. I was too young and stupid to be scared. <laughs> it was just a party. <laughs> That's awesome. Aww. And where have you been the past, you know, where have I been? few years? I... What have you done since Secret Garden? <laughs> well, I moved to New York, and I did a lot of um, theater out there, national tour of a Broadway show. I um, had the opportunity to star in Thoroughly Modern Millie um, in several cities across the U.S. How was that? Which was awesome. Um, it was it was really cool. It was uh kind of my next big step, I guess. I did a lot between Secret Garden and then, but it was sort of like the next level, you know? Sure. And um, it was awesome. I gained quite a fan base and kept an online journal of my experience in the show, which I think you can still read at HaynesHisWay.com. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like ancient, but it's there. Uh, How yeah, did you roll into that? Was that like a like a fame type thing where you got on the stage and they're like, five, six, seven, eight, okay, next line, up. <laughs> was it like that? Luckily not, you know, the whole cast cast had been put together for the tour while I was out of town doing a different show, so I missed the first round of uh, auditions. Oh, that's nice. And um, at the last minute, they lost their Millie cover on Broadway, so they bumped a girl up from the tour to the Broadway production, mm -hmm. a girl that I, I happened to have gone to high school with, very small business, weird, weird connection there. Mm -hmm. And um, they, they held last minute auditions to replace her, and um, I ended up walking into that role, which was pretty awesome. Oh, Fantastic. Man. I just got yeah. the chills. <laughs> That's so cool. So and I did. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, lots of New York stuff originated a role off-Broadway in Saved, which was based on that film with Mandy Moore, Macaulay Culkin. Okay. And then oh, went to grad school in England, and I've just gotten back to L.A., so that was pretty Welcome awesome. Welcome home. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> is L.A. your home? L.A. is my home. I grew up here. How was grad school in England? It was life-changing. What was it? Um, I went for my master's in acting. <gasps> And uh, the Guilford School of Acting, it's oh. in Surrey. It's a little south of London. Fantastic that sounds program. fantastic. Yeah, it was amazing. Oh, man. Great. I yeah. bet you met a lot of really interesting contacts there from the U.S. as well or all I around the did. world? I um, did. I got connected with a, a really well-known director over in England who then happened to introduce me to a director from New York that had worked with a director who directed me in something I'd done in New York. So it was another weird kind of connection thing. But I, I did. I got to meet a lot of people who I'm still in touch with. I'm telling you, careful who you make angry. Small world. <laughs> I right? try not to make anyone angry. Oh, well, yeah, good. Uh, me, I know. And you just got done working on a cruise ship. I right? did. I went on Crystal. It was a guest um, appearance for just one cruise to Alaska. It was a two week thing, but I performed twice in that period of time and then uh, had a nice yeah. little vacation out of it too. Great. Which is really cool. And you also did, there was something I've been wanting to ask you about for years actually, yeah. you, you worked on Pride and Prejudice. I did, Pride and Prejudice. The musical. Yes, they um, are hoping to take it to Broadway. Um, I did the pre-Broadway run pretty heavy it. for a musical, huh? It is, you know, and they've tried to make some heavy shows before. I mean, Tale of Two Cities made it to Broadway. Les Miserables, Les of course, is. is like one of the more uh, yeah, successful. Yeah, the heaviest, right? Yeah, and that's very heavy. Um, Pride and Prejudice is, is beautifully written. It's pretty incredible. Yeah. I hope it, I hope it goes. 
I play Jane Bennett, who's one of the main girls. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks so much for coming in, Juliana. Thank you. JulianaHanson.com for Where information can we find on you? Juliana. And give us a call, guys, at 1-800-336-2225. We've got two pairs of theater tickets today. One for Heavier Than at Boston Court, which we've both seen, and it's amazing. And one, uh, two pairs of, or excuse me, one pair of tickets for Rabbit Hole at Theater Palisades, which is about to open. We're doing a live broadcast from there on Friday night. It's going to be amazing. You guys need to call and get these tickets and call with any questions for our guests. We're going to be back to talk to Jimmy Milligan in just a minute on La La Land with Brett and Nett on CRN Digital Talk.